COVID does not cause erectile dysfunction from a physical point of view, meaning that it doesn't affect the blood flow or the nerve function of the penis. But any chronic illness that causes anxiety can cause psychogenic erectile dysfunction. But in short, once the COVID's resolved and the patient's better, any impact on sexual function will also uh, be relieved. The commonest cause of erectile dysfunction are the vascular risk factors that we're all very familiar with, such as smoking, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, being overweight, poorly controlled diabetes, not exercising. The vascular risk factors affect the blood flow into the penis. Other causes of erectile dysfunction relate to cancer surgery, such as prostate cancer surgery or bowel surgery. These are the commonest causes. Uh, performance anxiety, men trying too hard, uh, can also cause erectile dysfunction, but that's not based on a physical problem. The PDE5 inhibitor drugs are Viagra, Cialis and Levitra, and they are all very similar. Cialis, uh, especially the small dose once every day, I think is a very good product uh, because it allows for more spontaneous lovemaking, which in turn relieves performance anxiety. There are different causes of erectile dysfunction. There are those causes that are due to poor blood flow into the penis, and that's due to vascular risk factors, such as smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, poorly controlled diabetes, and so on. Then there's the neurogenic, the nerve damage erectile dysfunction that can occur with pelvic cancer surgery such as surgery for the rectum, the bladder and the prostate.